It's completely green with algae. I don't know if that makes it gross or not. It seems like it would provide lots and lots of nutrients for the critters and wildlife that live under that. No, I'm just kidding. All packed up and headed east. The plan that we originally concocted was to leave Fort Parker State Park and go to Mission Tejas State Park and retackle those trails and learn some more CCC history and maybe take a visit to the Davy Crockett National Forest and camp out there. We didn't really look at the map on the way here. We didn't gauge it right. Total State Parkers move. That's an hour and 44 minutes from where we were. We really don't feel like spending that much of time in the car today, so we're going to reroute and we're going back to Fairfield Lake State Park. That's the one with the power plant that heats up the lake. Good fishing in the winter. Kind of wondering if that means that in the morning it'll steam up with a bunch of fog over the river. That would be cool. Well, we're here. We're gonna go in and talk to the rangers and see if they'll let us drive around and scope out the campsites before we actually pick one. So they are gonna let us go scope it out first. We're gonna go drive around Springfield camp area and see what we can find. According to the map in the office, this one looked completely empty. So we're gonna to try to find a, a waterfront site. Even though it's a little cold outside, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. First name, your address, you know, your license plate on your vehicle. There you go. Oh well, yeah, this is gonna be nice. The sites across the way are empty and nobody's scheduled to come in. Much like Hill Country State Natural Area, we've got an amazingly large campsite this time. Way too much room for the two of us, but we'll utilize it. We'll walk around, play in the dirt. I don't know. We got a couple trails that split off right behind our campsite here. That's nice. How was it down there? It's like we have our very own lakefront property. Awesome. We may forget stuff all the time, and we may go the wrong direction a lot, get flat tires and run into all kinds of hazards out there on our trips. But I'll tell you one thing, we always tend to luck out when it comes to cool camp spots and nearby amenities. So I guess it's sort of a balance. I'm happy with that. If I forget something, it's because the trip didn't really need it. It wasn't a requirement. Do more with less. As you all know, we usually use fatwood to get our fire started. And what I like to do is use napkins or paper plates, something real quick that can catch on fire that will get the fatwood started. So that's what we're doing right now. That fatwood is basically pine soaked in its own sap. It's all natural. You can cook over it. You could probably find it at your local grocery store for under four dollars a box. She was not lying when she said we had a really good beach down here. All to ourselves too. Got about 100 yards of shoreline here. The sun is going down back behind me, so we're gonna have a really beautiful sunset tonight. Ugh, that kind of creeped me out. First I thought I had a piece of hair on my face. I went like that. There's a spider crawling up my face. It's okay, I think it went into your sleeping bag. Okay, I was wrong. It went onto my backpack. What on earth could you possibly want with my car keys? We didn't even have to use most of our own firewood because there's plenty of firewood around here that people left. 
That's good. That saves us a little money. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to having some lunch. We've got some macaroni and cheese with chicken and bacon over there baking. Hold on. Let, rewind for a second. Let's analyze this. Macaroni and cheese, nobody doesn't like that. With chicken, most people like that, and it's probably one of the healthier meats there are for you. Bacon, even people who claim to not like meat still probably appreciate bacon in some form or another because it's quintessential to breakfast, the most important meal of the day. I'm talking about chocolate, breakfast, lunch, dinner, bacon. Peanut butter and jelly. Bacon! We are not being paid money by bacon to talk about how great bacon is. Yet another non-paid endorsement. We love Gold Zero products. We have our warm jackets on hand, ready to go in case we get cold, which we will well, as soon as that sun goes down. Well, that was a killer sunset. We were able to hang out down there by the lake long enough to just enjoy it. It's still not cold. Last night it got down to, I would say, 42. That was only about 40 minutes from here. I don't see how there can be much of a difference between a 40 minute drive in East Texas from there to here. Tonight, I would anticipate that since the sun is now down, I think it's gonna probably be about last night, about 42 degrees, maybe 46, I don't know. You know, it was a lot of fun doing that Facebook live feed. I wish we could just sit here and do that all night sometimes. <laughs> you know, I tend to agree. The only problem is, is out here where we're at, we were bouncing between 4G and 2G signal. So the live feed kept coming in and out and it kept cutting us off, like at the funniest moments. Anyways, check my Facebook page, Clint Parker, if you want to go back and dig those live feeds up. Otherwise, we're going to chill out. We're going to relax for the rest of the night. We have a full day out here tomorrow at Fairfield Lake if we decide to stay here. You know us. We never know what we're going to do until we actually do it. But we'll figure that out. Until then, y'all have a great night. Well, that was fun. We took a little night drive around the park. Now we're gonna go back to camp, probably have a snack and go to bed.
And let's not forget the ham. Another form of bacon.